During this time where there's a lot of volume where guys are buying silver and gold, why have gold and silver premiums increased so much? Uh, I like to give a little bit of a detailed answer to that because I think that's something that a lot of people uh, which are interested in buying bullion definitely want to know. I mean, why spend more than before uh, in premiums? So uh, to understand how the industry works, uh, you have to understand that products like the uh, American Eagles, the Maple Leaf coins are created by national mints. Uh, these mints only sell coins to a small group of distributors. And these distributors then sell it to bullion dealers like us. And we in turn then sell it to, um, you know, individuals and investors. Now, in the case of the Maple Leaf, um, the Canadian mint will charge $1.50 to produce one Maple Leaf. So you have that premium to start off. A distributor would then ship it to us, say in Singapore, make a small profit out of it, and you know we'll end up paying say one dollar seventy for it. And then we are going to go around and we're going to sell it at say one dollar ninety, one dollar ninety five. So we're going to earn twenty twenty five cents on a maple leaf which we are selling. So that's that's a normal scenario. Now, what happened last week is that there's so much demand that the U.S. Mint stopped taking orders and then the Royal Canadian Mint has also, you know, started to have a lot of shortages in a sense. And what happens in these cases is there's allocation comings, meaning the few distributors are more or less uh, fighting to get their allocations of the bullion, their proportion of that, because they now there's a lot of demand to the dealers who want to buy it. Now, once they start running short of that allocation, uh, they will start raising premiums. So instead of selling it to us at $1.70, for example, suddenly one day we open up, we call someone, we look at the system and it says $4. So you can see sort of the shock of that's happening because if we are selling it at $1.95 and suddenly from the supply side, it's going to cost us $4 to get it. Well, obviously we have to increase the price. And as you see it coming, then the dealers will start preempting it a little bit. They will say, okay, if it's going that high, I better put some extra buffer in between because I might find out it's going up even higher. So because of that uncertainty, dealers are starting to put in more buffer. And uh, some other distributors might be charging $5 already for them. So that's why, you know, in the dealing world, on the retail side, you might now see premiums of $6. So that's a little bit the background. So that's, that's what happened last week, that these premiums went up. But what's important to understand is that that's for coins. When it comes to bars, the bars are a little bit different. That's normally dealers will buy directly from the refinery because the refinery is a little bit more general it's who they give accounts to. So, and refiners tend not to increase premiums as much. So, that's why you would find that bars might increase in premium, but they don't increase as much and as fast as coins. And uh, especially in the gold gold business, you know, bars tend to be relatively constant with premiums, even when demand goes up. Um, but what happened recently is that even even these the refineries are now starting to increase their costs, their prices, and. The big driver behind that, very surprisingly, is not that the refineries are trying to make a bigger margin, but the refineries are using big banks, such as JP Morgan, to hedge their position. So whenever they sell something, they're basically locking in a price of JP Morgan so that they are not exposed to changes in gold price. And normally, that spread is very tight, meaning it does it costs very little. But now, JP Morgan and so on are charging a much bigger spread and we've had cases now where uh, the refiners are telling us it's going to cost nine or ten dollars per ounce of gold just in the spread prices, which means that whatever gold bars we're getting are now ten dollars more expensive just because the bankers are charging more to hedge the price of gold. And that's on top of the fees that is uh, the actual refining fee of the gold. 
So, and such just starting, such just started two days ago. So, uh, you can see that now with this happening, we're getting to a new stage where gold is also starting to go up in premiums. And we are seeing a bit of a, uh, an unprecedented situation. This seems worse than what has been happening in 2008.